This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See so you know what I'm thinking. See so I'm analyzing that data. But like Taylor every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, um, people been asking me a lot of questions about the A.J. Matthew lawsuit. They're saying that it's granted. Some saying it's not granted. And and the reason people are saying it's granted is because that 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 website docking alarm is putting out information that is totally incorrect. It's saying motions are denied, which weren't wasn't denied. It's saying motions were granted, which wasn't granted. So that's why there's a big confusion. You cannot these secondary party websites like docking alarm. They do not have all the information. If you want the real information on the status of any case, you have to go to the actual court's website. If you go to Docket Alarm, the A.J. Matthew motion requesting that they stay the status quo order on Docket Alarm, it says that the motion is granted. When the motion was not granted. And all you really had to do was open up the motion and you will see, or the order rather, and you'll see that it was not signed by the judge. I mean, it was filed on the 18th. You think the judge looked at a motion, read it, researched it, and then made a decision the same day? Not saying it's impossible, but that's highly unlikely. The judge did not make any decision on that, even though I don't think it's going to be approved. I think it's going to be denied, but that's just my opinion. But I'm not the judge. I don't know. But the bottom line is, if you go to Dr. Alarm, Dr. Alarm is saying that the law, that the, the motion was granted to stay the status quo order. The motion was not granted. Dr. Alarm needs to stop putting information on on their website that's incorrect because it's causing confusion and i and in my personal opinion that's very very dangerous they need to double check their facts double check the information before they publish it on their website but also when you go to these websites don't just accept what it says open up the document and read it for yourself Open up the document and read it for yourself and you'll have a better idea what's going on. Bottom line is this. No decision has been made on an A.J. Matthew motion. No decision has been made, even though I believe it won't be approved. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's dangerous that these secondary websites are putting up information about lawsuits that are totally incorrect anyway have a great day god bless i appreciate y'all on the journey with me